The movie The Social Network wasn't exactly a valentine to Mark Zuckerberg, but it didn't stop him from becoming Time's Person of the Year. How did the Facebook founder win people over? Joining the company is Mark Stevens, CEO of the marketing firm MSCO. He's the author of the book whose title is on your screens, which should be titled Your Marketing is Less Than Stellar. But there you go. <laughs> no. All right, Mark. <laughs> let's get this, uh, let's get straight to Zuckerberg. Not the title of your book. Straight to Zuckerberg. Uh, the, the the premise is that his image has been turned around. That he now now has a very positive image. You buy that? No, I, I don't think he's ever been concerned about his image whatsoever. Really? I think well, not, not concerned about it, but has the public image of Mr. Zuckerberg always Zuckerberg been Zuckerberg is a is a is a legend. Zuckerberg is more than a brand. Zuckerberg is a tidal wave to me. And here's what I mean by that. I I met and I spent time with Bill Gates around the same time of Zuckerberg's evolution. In 1990 I spent a day with Bill. And it was uh, Microsoft was 3,000 people. It was a, still a nascent business. We knew it was going to have a huge. I saw so many similarities in the two of them. The biggest thing I think for all of us to focus on is that Zuckerberg is a. What I say, why I say tidal wave is that he's influencing an entire generation of young people to be entrepreneurs yeah. all over the world. Yeah. So we can all talk about the powers of entrepreneurialism. They don't listen. We can get lectures from the government about don't be entrepreneurs. This, but realize that wait, wait power. A second, wait a second. Bill Gates' public image was negative. He was portrayed as a nasty little nerd. Uh, when, you know, when they, and they, 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 they didn't ruin him, and they didn't ruin Microsoft, but he took a hit because of his public image. Don't you think that Zuckerberg could take a similar hit? I mean, he's portrayed as a nerd, badly dressed, and all the rest of it. So, uh, when I met with Bill, I mean, it, it was like being with a very strange person. He was like Rain Man. I mean, he was rocking his chair. I mean, it was really, I was prepared yes, I for it, but then I was yes. really surprised how dramatically different it was. But um, the fact is, these guys don't care. And, uh, you know, Bill got a bad rap for a while. I, don't, I, I can't agree with you. I think the whole thing with Newark, you know, it's particularly at the same time that this unflattering movie was coming out. I think he, I think he does The movie care. was so flattering to me. I thought this guy was... I know. Yeah. Some people walked away and they thought Wall Street was flattering to Wall Street. But, you know, I think the overall arching theme, though, is that it wasn't necessarily flattering that this guy might have stole, you know, and clawed his way to the top any way possible, which is what, what Hollywood does a lot with all success stories. Well, but Hollywood loves to do that. I mean, look, the thing is that this company, we've just proven, has a $50 billion valuation, and, which is pretty incredible. And what he's really done is create, I think, a world. You know, there's been a pursuit okay. of creating a League of Nations, a way to break down barriers for people to talk in all cultures, every place. And everybody's failed at it because of laws, regulation, languages, cultures. That's what so, this does. So play down the personality of Zuckerberg. Yeah. Play up what Facebook does for the world. That's yeah. your marketing. Yeah, advice. and I think, you know, look, when I watched the movie and I've also thought about Zuckerberg, it wasn't a big idea. It really wasn't a big idea. It was a dating service for Harvard. Um, it wasn't a big idea, but I, I always thought there was three kinds of tr uh, prodigies, math, music, and science. But I have to admit that there's guys like uh, Gates and Zuckerberg, very few, who really are... Um, a managerial prodigies. All right. Mark, see, we're going to leave it at that. But I find, I find this fascinating, especially because some are talking about Facebook as having an eventual value of a trillion dollars. Now, I personally don't believe, I don't buy it, but that's out there. Well, just let me say one that's more thing. If you imagine creating another world, a borderless world, which is what he says his vision is, to open up, if you borderless world, then you could do that. And you could actually beat Google. Mark Stevens, come and see us again. <laughs> Update us on Zuckerberg et al. Thanks very much.